so hello everyone welcome again to this youtube channel so in this video we are going to discuss a latest issue that selenium web driver is facing so basically chrome driver 111 is not able to establish a secure connection with chrome browser so first of all we are going to discuss what exactly the issue is and then we are going to discuss how we can fix this issue so i think this is a miss from a selenium side or maybe some compat compatibility issue so let's get started so basically this issue is occurring only when you have a latest dependency of selenium and also you have a latest chrome browser updated browser so you are going to see that browser is getting launched but it is not going uh, to navigate to the expected url so this is the issue so let me show you first the issue that how it looks like so as you can clearly see that i have the latest selenium dependency and if i show you the uh, the chrome browser version you can clearly see that i have the latest chrome browser version okay so let's try to run the script that i have already written here so let's try to run it let's see if we are able to see the issue or not so i'm running it as an uh, junit test so you can clearly see that the browser is blank and it is not navigating to the expected URL that is a Google and you can clearly see that connection failed exception you are getting it okay so let's see that how we can fix this issue so this issue was not occurring if you are using the old selenium version or old chrome driver you will not able to see this issue so this is the latest issue with updated chrome browser and updated selenium dependency okay so let's see how we can fix this issue so you have just recently uh, saw that how to replicate the issue and what exactly the issue is so now let's talk about how we can fix the issue so first thing is you have to use the chrome options while launching a chrome browser second thing is you have to add arguments this this argument you can see in this color you have to add this argument in chrome options and then just try to launch a chrome browser so that's how you are going to get this issue fixed so let's first talk about that why we have to use this option and what it is going to do okay so let's see so i have just opened uh, the discussion on the google so someone has raised a query that uh, they are not able to establish a connection to the Chrome, the issue that we are discussing right now. Okay, so I'm going to look up for uh, the solution. So if you can clearly see here, user have mentioned that I have figured it out. So first let's talk about what exactly the issue is. So issue is, it is rejecting an incoming WebSocket connection from the local host origin. Okay, so if you want to remove or if you want to resolve this issue you have to use remote allow origin is equal to asterisk sign so what exactly asterisk sign means it is it means that it is allowing all the regions so in a nutshell if we use these two lines in our script that first we initialize the chrome options and in chrome options we just add this argument remote allow origin is equal to asterisk sign so we are going to get a fix, we will have a fix and our browser is going to launch and navigate to the expected URL. So let's add these two lines in our script and let's see if we are we are having any, any issue anymore or we are able to launch our browser successfully and navigating to the URL successfully. So let's see. So now I am on the Eclipse and you can clearly see this was the issue. This, it is showing the local host and we have just already uh, saw the discussion on the Google. Okay, we can simply, I have already uh, written here the code and I need to simply remove it. Let me remove it. Let's simply remove it. So you can clearly see that I have initialized the Chrome options and then I have added the argument remote allow regions is equal to asterisk sign and simply I have added I need to now add the chrome options here while launching a chrome driver so let's try to launch again 
now it should navigate to the google chrome okay so you can clearly see that we are on the google we have navigated exactly on the google.com and you are not able to see any blank window now so i hope this video helps you out in resolving the latest issue so if you are new to this channel please subscribe to this channel and please do share with your friends thank you